Hello family, welcome back to the channel. This is Anthony and I'm here with the Dollar Tree haul. I know it's been a while since I've been on camera, but I'm here. Hey, if this is your first time stopping by, welcome. I would love to have you be a part of my small little YouTube family here. So, uh, Please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. I'm trying to learn how to video on my phone. So the last video was I flipped the phone the other way so I apologize for how that turned out. I'm going to try it again with this haul and see if I can get it any better. I am uh, videoing in a different room. I'm in my bedroom because the lighting in the basement is really bad and with all the lamps and stuff like that I don't have any fancy ring lights or anything like that so the quality is pretty bad down there so I'm gonna try just filming in the upper part of the house and see if that that helps out. Um, so yeah I have a lot of items here but what I'm going to do is separate them out and uh, make some uh, smaller videos I don't know how long my camera will keep going I don't know so we'll see what happens but let's jump right into this one um, this one is mainly like things that I use for crafting and stuff I found in the stationary aisle it's like more of the fun stuff so let's jump into it first I found this uh, Heidi Swap Marquee Love it's a love sign lights up uh, it has the lights included and I, I've normally seen these at uh, Michael's so yeah I was pretty excited to find this one I did pick up another one it was a number seven which I will be exchanging. For some reason, when I grabbed it, I thought it was a Z. You know, my, my name starts with a Z, so I thought that was a Z, and I got all excited and grabbed it, and turned out it was a number seven. And remember, I don't know if you... Well, if, you're, if you've been with me for a while, you know I'm dealing with an eye injury, and I still cannot see anything out of the left eye. So, thus... I'm working with these thick glasses, trying to see y'all, trying to see, but I'm going to lean in for it. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. But where's the, the camera at? <laughs> Over here, I think. Um, but this eye here, like the iris is gone and the lens. And right now, just waiting, letting it heal. They're not going to take any stitches or anything out until October. I still don't know if I will be able to see out of that eye. Uh, freak accident, got poked in the eye, and I've already had cornea transplants previously. So um, when I got poked in the eye, it lifted, it bust open that, that cornea transplant. So life changing, it's been rough, but I'm still here and I'm blessed, so I thank God for that. So anyway let's get back to it so sometimes you may see me hold things close to read and stuff because I am struggling to see it is what it is so yeah this for a dollar I'm not sure what these regularly retail for but I know it they're worth more way more than one dollar so got that I found this cute little messenger bag little sack thing I grabbed it I figured this would be cute to put happy mail in to send off in the mail and that's all it says is messenger bag they had different prints and colors of these um, also in the stationery aisle I got some more of these tapes rolls of tapes these are by Jot crystal clear tape you get six rolls I like to uh, keep these on hand I think I'm down to my last one so I went ahead and grabbed them when I saw them because they don't have them all the time at my Dollar Tree. Uh, and I have the dispenser, so I went ahead and grabbed another package of those. 
I did find some of those new uh, button envelopes, the two pack. Look at this really pretty checkered uh, print, this uh, lavender and pink set. And then I picked up this one with the peach and the light blue. Really cute. I grabbed these because I thought they would be uh, nice for me to organize some of my ephemera or digital kits or something in these things. Images that I fussy cut out. I mean, I have so much paper everywhere and I just need to get things organized. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Oops, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, that's not a stationery. Uh, I picked up another list pad. If you've been with me for a while, you know I love the list pads. You get 60 sheets. These are by Jot. And this is a magnetic notepad. I picked it up because of the colors. I use these all the time in my journals. As well as making lists here at home. Um, so yeah, I just picked up one this time, I think. I did pick up another one of these stickers. These are by Jot. They're puffy. These are the little house stickers. I thought these were so cute. And since I've seen another one, I went ahead and grabbed it. You get 21 stickers in this package. <clears throat> With Sunday being Father's Day, I picked up some poster boards so that my girls can like make a banner or poster for their dad. You get four in here. These are also by Jot. And they are 11 inches by 14 inches. So yeah, I grabbed these. I figure they can make uh, a poster or they can even do a handmade card with these. And then to go along with that, I did grab some of the poster stickers. I just picked up two of these poster stickers. These are just peel and stick. And you get 15, uh, not 15, 56 uh, letters. And they're great for event signs, school projects, home decor, and projects. So, yeah, I got those, and I like the primary colors. I think they're masculine. So, I went ahead and grabbed two of those so they'll have enough letters, at least for one of them, if they want to use it. They'll have enough to... Uh, spell out Happy Father's Day. I uh, found some more stickers. Uh, this one is a new one. It's a nine piece. These are by Crafter Square. So, um, yeah, I like the flowers. It says good day, thanks, and happy. Thought those were cute. And then I found this pack with the llamas. It says, follow your bliss, life, no prob, no problema, hello, and llama love. I got these because I will be working on some llama journals. I've been collecting stuff for those. I do have one llama journal in my Etsy shop, but I want to make more. I found these pop-up butterfly stickers by Crafter Square. You get four butterflies in the package. So I went ahead and picked that up. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, it may be going into some uh, friend mail. Now let's see. Do I have any more stickers? I think that's it. Oh no. I got some. Uh, Transfers, the rub on transfers by Crafter Square. I got these. Um, yeah, these would have been great to go in my loaded bag that I just packaged up for a swap. But I went ahead and got it. It's great for 4th of July or uh, Memorial Day, anything really. And they just, you know, gold foil looking uh, rub ons. I did pick up a package of the Hallmark Expressions note cards. They're blank note cards, and you get the envelopes. 
And these originally retail for $3.89. And I picked them up because I thought they would go with the nautical theme and, you know, like the beach and mermaid and stuff like that when I'm making journals. And also, I like the dark, masculine-looking colors. So, trying to get some more journals made up for men to put in my shop. I do have uh, one, I think just one in there right now. So, got that. I did pick up some notebooks. And no, I did not need them, but they were super cute. These are the three-pack jot notebooks. I grabbed this one because of the unicorn. And I like to include these in Happy Mail as well. But this one, you get the butterflies as well as the unicorn. And then that middle one is rainbows. I don't know if you can see that. But you get three for one dollar. And then I picked up the four pack of the little jot notebooks with the little rings. But I got these because these are uh, red white and blue great for uh, happy mail right now or to throw in your purse to pull out to write notes let's see we get four notebooks in here this is one of the prints and then this one then you get the fireworks And you get this one. So really cute, and I can share those. I picked up this uh, book. It's a etchings, vintage style illustrations, and that's why I picked it up because I like the vintagey looking drawings in there. There was a couple pictures in there that really drew me. And Lord knows, you know, I don't need any more coloring books, but these are cute. I like to use them in my journals, the pages. Just put them in my journals. This would be pretty in my wine journal. So, yeah, just picked up that. And then I found this book. It's called Wedding Blessings. And I've been planning on making a, a wedding journal. So this one I think I'm going to just, I like the cover itself. I think I'm going to just alter this book, take out some pages, and do a altered book. And it will be a wedding journal, which would make a nice gift. I picked up this novelty pen with the flamingo. I thought that was super cute and I got this to go with a flamingo journal that I'm going to make in the near future and you know I collect novelty pens I should have grabbed another one for myself so got that I picked up this uh, foam mounting tape I love using this when I'm making embellishments and things for my crafts so Grab that. Uh, it is by uh, the original Super Glue. Um, double sided, acid free, lignin free, photo safe, and permanent. And you get six feet of this. So I went ahead and grabbed that. This was new. It's by Jot. It's a protective wrap. So it's like a roll, a uh, little mini roll of saran wrap, basically. But I got that to just put in my craft space. I never know when I may need it. And this would be great to use if I'm, you know, doing the ironing of napkins, like little small pieces or something. I don't know. But who knows? You can wrap it up. I mean, ball it up and put it in paint and make a pattern on your paper and I'm sure there's tons of things you can do with this. It is 4 inches by 300 feet. And it's just a protective wrap. So I'll grab one of those. 
I grabbed some gift bags. Let me see what we're at on time. Let me hurry up here. I grabbed these two gift bags, and these were like with the, in the baby baby section of the gift bags. Actually, I think these were in the the baby aisle, the aisle with the uh, baby supplies, like oh, uh, like party supplies or baby shower stuff. I think that's where I got these from. But anyway, I got it because of the unicorn and the llama, and I can use these for covers for journals. So I went ahead and grabbed that. This side has the glitter, and then the other side does not. And in here has this cute stripe. And then the llama, same thing. One side is glittered and the other side is not. And it has these pretty flowers on the inside. So, so yeah, got one of those. I did pick up some party napkins. These flamingo ones, really cute, and like I said, I will be working on a flamingo journal, so I love to use napkins in my journals. And then I found this green with the white polka dots, it's super cute. I don't have anything like that in my collection of napkins, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I did pick up one wooden, little wooden... Um, what do you call it? I don't know. It says wood, layered, assorted, but this is the pineapple. I thought I could paint this and adhere it to a journal cover because I did want to do something summery or pineapple themed or whatever. So I grabbed one of those. Uh, my Dollar Tree has tons of different wooden cutouts that you paint yourself. So got that one. And then I picked up three packages of the table scatter. Now these are all with the new summer party stuff. Um, you get 60 pieces in here. Now this one has the dolphins and whales and crabs and seahorses and little fish. Really cute. I got this for, you know, crafting, not for a, an actual table scatter as well as this one here. This one has pink pineapples, green pineapples, green palm trees, pink flamingos, and it has the little the yellow suns, different sizes. And then the last one I picked up was the like the hibiscus flowers. Now they do have other options to choose from. They have the glittered hibiscus ones as well, but I still have some of those. And they have the little leaves in this one too, but I still have the glittered ones from previous years. I still have some. So you get 60 pieces in each of those. Um, I did pick up some wrapping paper. I picked up this one with the uh, panda with panda heads on it and then there's some in like a cupcake super cute and I I think I might use this for a pocket letter swap I'm not sure but I, it just came up and I forgot I had grabbed this so um, if I join I probably will use this but I like to use the wrapping paper in my journals and I like to fussy cut the images out for projects so yeah, this is by Voila, and there is glitter on this one, and it is 10 square feet, 30 inches by 48 inches, and I like that it has the grid lines in there. It helps you cut straight, so I got that one. Then I picked up two gold ones. My daughters, uh, my twin girls will be 14 in July, their golden birthday, July 14th, so I've been started picking up some gold things. I don't know what we're going to do. I was trying to get them to do like a little virtual birthday party with their friends online. But I don't know. But anyways, I got this wrapping paper for them for gifts. Uh, two different uh, prints. 
so we'll see. I do have some other little things that I picked up, but that'll be in the next haul. Um, and the last items in this haul that I will share are some Father's Day cards. So I picked up this one. It says, it's a blessing to have a dad like you. And then there's the inside. But I picked this one up for the girls to give their dad. And then I picked up this one. It says, my husband, my gift. I thought that, that one was really nice. It says... My life is blessed in ways I couldn't have imagined. There's a contentment in what God has given us as a couple and as a family that I, would, I wouldn't I would trade for anything in the world. And then the inside says, Thank you for being who you are, a wonderful husband and a caring, involved father. Thank you for loving your family so well. Happy Father's Day. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then... I picked up a funny one. I don't know if he'll think it's funny, but I thought it was funny. It's uh, It says, it's Father's Day, so when the kids are asleep, we'll do it however you want. Ha <laughs> ha. It says, thick crust, extra cheese, you name it. Hey, we can even order spicy wings on the side. Happy Father's Day. So, yeah. Uh, that kind of fits my personality. I know I don't show it much on here, but yeah, I'm... I'm a cuckoo. So anyway, that is my haul. I hope you like it. If you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. We would love to have you be a part of our small little family here. And until the next one, everyone, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye-bye.